welcome to week nine of the Expectant Knitter. I'm your host, Steph, and I think we should just jump right in here today. Um, first up, what's on my needles? Last week I talked about working on my BFF socks. Those are coming along nicely. You can see here I finished the first one. Great pattern. I haven't woven in the ends, obviously. Great pattern by Cookie A. Um, really enjoyed the diversity of a little cable every four rows. It was fun to do. And it fits perfectly. So, here you go. Sorry, it's not on a blocker. I didn't think about a blocker. Maybe I'll think about that next time. And I've started the second one, so I've got a little teeny bit of a toe. Toe. So, it's going along good. Again, I'm using uh, Regia Stretch Color. It's one of my favorite workhorse yarns. It's interesting, the um, polyester, polyester or polyamide? Is there a difference? It has both. It's 23% polyamid and 7% polyester. I'm not sure which one it is, but when you, um, for the toe increases, when you lift the stitch below, there's this little white line that shows. I don't know if you can see that like right over here. These little white lines that pop up in the yarn itself, but I don't think it'll cause any problems with the wear of it. It's just a little something interesting I noticed about it. So those are going along well. I hope to have those finished by next week. We'll see how I do. Um, the other thing I'm working on is not the Haruni. <laughs> I know I was supposed to, and I told my knitting group that, you know, if there's a snow day this week, I will stay home and do nothing but knit on the Haruni. No snow day. And, yeah, I'm so tired at night that the thought of a 45-minute row is just not appealing to me. Maybe this weekend. Maybe because we have a quiet Saturday and Sunday home, no big plans. Maybe I can tackle a couple rows. I really need to finish it. The group decided that we would target February 14th, Valentine's Day, huh? Odd. Hmm. As our finish date. So, if I can bang out, I think I have, like, I want to say 12, 15 rows left. I can bang those out and be done, get it blocking. I bought extra T-pins the other day so that I do have enough to get all the little points. So, anyways, I haven't touched that, so I'm not even going to bring it out. But I did um, start the Milan jacket, which I talked about last week that I was thinking about starting a new baby jacket. It wasn't, or a baby sweater. I wasn't really sure what to do. I have the uh, Natural Knits for Babies and Moms by Louisa Harding. I love this book. This was one of the first books I ever, uh, knitting books, I ever got. My mother-in-law gave it to me one year, and while it scared me, it's like, what are you hinting at? This was probably six or seven years ago. Anyway, so she gave me this book. Um, it's come in really handy because a lot of my friends have babies, so um, I've knit almost everything out of here. I bet I've knit 50% of this book. The cot blanket is really nice. The, um, I think it's called the, uh, yeah, the basic JoJo sweater. I did one of those using Knit Picks yarn. Really cute. I've done the vest in here and all kinds of stuff. So, um, I decided I wanted to knit a sweater for an older child. And I took out my bookmark. Oh, this one's really cute too. Kai cable sweater. Did that with chenille yarn. Really soft, really cute. Um, yeah. So I wanted to do a sweater, of something I hadn't done before, and something that would fit like a, a year to 18 month old child. Baby? Is it a baby or a child at 18 months? I guess if you're still counting months, it's a baby. So I picked the um, Milan jacket. That is not the greatest picture of it. So, and a cute little boy in it. Can you see that? Um, here you go. Here are a couple of them. So it has this interesting seed stitch detail on the sleeves, the collar, and the and the hem. So I started that. Um, so far so good. I picked the 18 month old size. I went straight to the sleeves. Well, the body is just born in stock yet, and I wanted something fun. So the sleeves are more interesting. I'm using Cascade 220. Um, the sweater itself is going to be a teal yarn. I thought that could go, it's mostly a boy color, but I could make it go a girl color. And I'm using, um, some red on the edge around the sleeves and the collar and that bottom hem. And then I thought I'd put red buttons. And if it's a girl, embroider a red flower. Curly. Good. So, 
The sleeves are supposed to be 10 and a quarter inches long. I'm doing two at a time. Uh, so far, I am not that long, but aren't they cute? Look at the little sleeve. I think it's adorable. I love it. So I want one for me. It almost fits me. Maybe. Yeah, if the seed stitch is all stretched out. So that's the other thing I'm working on currently. And of course, it's Cascade 220 Superwash. So, you know, puke all you want. We'll be good to go. <laughs> Um, so next section I'm thinking of calling expectations. So of course, that's the talk a little bit about being pregnant. So this is week nine, still dealing with the exhaustion and the nausea, doing pretty good with the nausea. It's not so bad. Um, and this week, let's see, we had our first ultrasound. So that was really exciting. We got to see what looks like, and I kid you not, a little gummy bear, like little tiny paddly arms and legs and we zoomed in and there it was and Steve and I were both really excited to see it and while we were in the doctor's office watching it it went <laughs> <laughs> well, I do that again <laughs> so we've been walking around going because <laughs> that's what our little our little baby did so it was really exciting to see um it's the size of a grape this week so it's getting there if that's I'm thinking it's like that big yeah so doing good haven't gained any weight yet but definitely eating a lot of carbs and i'm also highly suggestible to food so at work if someone says apple pie i want apple pie and the other night it was really funny um steve was home or the boyfriend as i should be calling him anyways he was home and um he had the snow day i didn't get the snow day and so he asked me to pick up a couple things at the grocery store on my way home. So I stopped. Okay, 5 o'clock, pregnant, highly suggestible, and anything I see I basically want. So guess what? I spent, I went in with a list of six things. I spent 60 bucks. I came home with giant olives. Giant green olives. That's my weird food thing. I'm eating a lot of olives and pickles. Vinegar and salt. I seem to really want a lot of and what else did I come home with? Oh, brownies. But I meant to get brownies because someone talked about brownies, so I want a brownie. So anyways, it's been fun seeing all the things I decide I have to have right now, and if I don't have them, the world will end. So it's been funny. Um, let's see. What else? I like the words. Let's see. Um, you may have noticed I am wearing my February lady sweater. Yes, and it has the... Uh, ribbon sewn in to reinforce the the edges here and along the hem too. I love this sweater. It's um I knit it I don't know, about a year ago. Maybe a little less than a year ago. It's um Cascade two twenty, same thing as the baby sweater, except this was lime green and I over dyed it with some teal so you can see some of the lighter sections. But it came out really well. I love it. It's a good good freezing cold day sweater. Um, but I digress. Next up on the needle. So what's new and exciting? What am I thinking about doing next? This. The tulip sweater. I'm sure you've seen it. It's been around for a while. Lots of kits out there. It um, uses Dreaming Color. Dreaming Color Classy Worsted Superwash Merino Sweater. A yarn. Eight different colors and it shades in between them. It's so cute. You should look at the pattern, the projects out there on, um, Ravelry, people have done some really great stuff with even even making it all like blues and greens so it's more of a boy sweater. They're adorable sweaters. So I placed an order. I was not so good and I ordered some yarn from Webs. I did not order Dreaming Color Classy because I couldn't justify spending a hundred and something dollars on a baby sweater just to wear it for a few months. And yes, I could have knit multiple ones or I could knit multiple ones but I decided not to go that way. So instead I did, here you go, there you go. Here's the color progression that I ended up with. Um, I went over to Webs and of course they have their huge discount. So I got a decent deal and I went with Cascade 220 Superwash paints. I seem to think Superwash 220 is a good baby yarn or at least I keep buying it for baby stuff. So I got some of the paints for the more variegated colors to transition between. Oh, my friend thinks this is extremely loud. I think it's beautiful. 
And then I went out on a limb. Now, I do not like Malabrigo. I used to like Malabrigo. I used to be crazy about Malabrigo. That was my splurge yarn. Bought it every chance I got. Knit oh, all kinds of hats and mittens and cowls and all kinds of really, really cute accessories in it. I started to knit a shawl with it. And then I realized after wearing my gloves, uh, my mittens a few times, my green June bug mittens, that it was a pilling nightmare. Single ply. Anyways, I'm not going to trash on it, but... <laughs> Any more than that, I, it just wasn't for me. Yes, the colors are beautiful, but I don't have the patience to defuzz my mittens and stuff and take hand wash and take that sort of care. So, um, I swore off Malabrigo. No more Malabrigo for me. But now they have this new yarn. Have you seen it? It's Rios. It's their plied yarn. I'm, I'm sort of feeling like I should trust them. Or at least try it. So, it's 100% um, super wash. It's definitely a heavy worsted, 210 yards per skein. This is called glazed carrots. Um, yeah, so it's applied yarn. I'm not sure how many are in here. Sorry, I should have checked this out at time. I don't know, four or five plies. So hopefully it won't pill and we can go back. I can go back to the lovely Malabrigo colors that I fell in love with and their variegation. And this one's really pretty too sunset um and be happy and live together forever and look at this beautiful purple this one's a purple mystery very saturated so anyways i'll let you know how that turns out i should be casting that on this weekend or soon thereabouts but i thought i'd share my new yarn new yarn new yarn it's exciting um, <laughs> and besides new yarn what else is going on? Not too much. It snowed mountains and mountains and mountains this week here in lovely New Hampshire. We're expecting more snow this weekend and next week, so that's fun. It's fun. I love snow. I just hate to drive to work in it, and I have a new car, and so it's difficult for me to get used to that. I went from driving a little Civic that I knew how it handled. I've been driving a Civic for eight, ten years? Long time. Multiple Civics know how to drive them. They, some people think they're not so great in the snow, but if you know what you're doing, you're fine. I'm fine. So to a CRV, that thing is huge and it's heavy and you can't just take out your foot off the gas and it stops. It's got all this momentum and it keeps going. Yeah. So, and the anti-lock brakes and I got in a fight the first time they turned on because I was like, what is happening? And this error message came up and it just scared me. So I just need to get used to my new car and there's nothing like jumping into the deep end of the pool and trying to swim which is exactly what I'm doing. Maybe shouldn't have gotten a new car in January. Oh, well, I did. So, but, you know, do you know why? <laughs> I'll give you one guess why I went from a Civic to a CRV, and it maybe has something to do with needing more space. So, anyways, that's my funny story, or my story in general. Linus is sitting here. Here, make a little cameo appearance, Linus. Oh, he doesn't really want to talk. Oh, okay. So that's it for this week from the Expectant Knitter. Um, next week, I will be back with more projects to show you and more updates on what it feels like to be then 10 weeks pregnant. Oh, that's like a quarter of the way through this. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So, all right. I hope you have a good week, and I'll catch you next week. Thanks for joining me.